Friends, I'm not joking. Today is, I think, the first defensive knife use that I've ever seen caught on video, and it's a doozy. Hi everyone, welcome to today's lesson here at Active Self Protection. I'm your host, John Correa. Like I say, I think this is absolutely a first. It comes to us from Chapadão do Sul in Brazil. Firearms Legal Protection is who I trust to help me after a use of force incident. If you're a Firearms Legal Protection member, you can attend our monthly Active Self Protection training seminars for free. Check out all they offer to their members at the link below. There's an armed robbery going on in the retail space of this jewelry store. We see this jeweler on the right side is working in a back room. The daughter of the owner is gonna bust in here in just a second, trying to get away from the armed robbers. There are two of them, one with a knife and one with a gun. So we are gonna see as the action begins here, she is gonna bust in, try to get the door closed, but the guy with the knife is gonna get in on her. Now watch the jeweler, he is gonna go for a gun. And as he tries to get the gun, he's not gonna get it, but the daughter actually gets a knife out from another cabinet and goes after the guy with it. Now the, the robber with the, the gun shows up too, but they run off. It's not for quite a while that they, um, with a third accomplice, get away in a getaway vehicle, but then they recognize, oh no, he is badly stabbed. She actually stabbed him once in the back on the way out the door too. So the police have said she acted completely in self-defense. That dude eventually showed up to the hospital to get all of the stab wounds patched up. Through that, he is, uh, last I saw, in critical condition, and they did catch the other two guys as well. They are all facing charges. The one gal that you can see laying down here in the front who was put in a kind of a rear naked choke, apparently, will make a full recovery, and no one else was harmed. You know, I, I gotta be honest with you, I think that this is the first and it shows me why I don't recommend for most people that they use a knife as a defensive tool. Let's talk about it in the lessons. Kind of amazing to me that he didn't hear this commotion going on outside, but maybe he's so engrossed in his task that he is not gonna do that. I will also say that one of our lessons here, he's actually got a gun. You saw that gun come out towards the end, but he gets it out of the drawer here. This video I think shows why I'm not a fan of leaving guns staged places rather than having them on your person. And it certainly doesn't help if you aren't very familiar with the gun and if it's not staged appropriately and ready to be used as a defensive tool because it's not ready enough and it will actually be a detriment to you. Now, I do love the woman comes in here and tries to get out of the danger zone and tries to get a barrier up. I think that's actually a really good choice. It's a good strategy except for she's not strong enough to pull it off. I think she pulled that, that uh, like the key out from the other side and was trying to get this door closed. And remember the bad guy gets a vote too. So I do think getting to safety, getting away from the danger zone is a very good strategy, but only if it works well for you. Now she knows she's got a knife staged in here as well. So maybe that's what she's trying to do and then get to that knife to be able to get out there. Although I don't think a knife against the guy that's got the gun is going to be a very useful tool. Now that guy busts in and he's got a knife out and I want you to notice now our dude is going for the gun that is staged, but it sure looks to me like he doesn't know how to operate the gun, like the gun does not have a round in the chamber and that it maybe has some kind of external safety on it. So maybe you say, well, we put it that way so that it's less dangerous to everyone, except for as a defensive tool, it really needs to be ready to go, which is why we'd always say, hey, we'd keep that in a quick access safe. If we were gonna do that, keep it holstered, something like that. The better choice is just to keep it on your body because then you just draw it and go to work with it instead of having to futz with it because as he's trying to futz with it, the guy drives in and now it's not my gun, it's our gun, right? Now it's not the defender's gun, now he's gotta fight for it. I would recommend for all self-defenders, yes, you need to get your square range skills strong and those things, and I get it, not everybody's gonna be a kung fu master, but doing a little bit of work at the grappling gun fighting range, once your skills are good on the flat range, I think has some value. I think it definitely is something you should do. Of course, you know, I've been a martial artist for like 16 years. I love studying, I, I love to hit the mats, those kind of things. So not everybody's gonna do that, I get it, but having a little bit of understanding of firearm retention, how to keep that gun out of his hand, how to fight for somebody for your gun is a very good thing. And of course, he's got the doubled up problem, like that guy's got a knife. And so now we're in a real messed up tangle here in a real fight. Now she goes and gets a knife, and this is literally, the very first time I've ever seen somebody use a knife defensively. Uh, I'm not saying they've never happened, but it's the very first time I've ever seen somebody get a knife out, and I wanna recognize what incredible level of emotional commitment it takes to use a knife in defense. A gun is much less emotionally um, taxing to use 
than a, a knife. And that knife, now she's got to get close to that guy, get at contact distance to him, and start working him over with it, which she is going to do. And, and I think kudos to her for her incredible amount of emotional fitness in order to do that. I also want you to recognize that she is stabbing the tar out of him, putting him in critical condition, but it's not going to, to incapacitate him. That's my problem with a defensive knife is unless you are an absolute master of cutting tendons and stuff like that, and almost nobody is, I don't even care if you're Doug Markaita, cutting up a guy who's in a coat like this is gonna be difficult. And I love you, Kuya Doug, and I hope you're doing well. But listen, as well, look at our guy with the gun. Our robber with the gun here has a gun pointed at our dude who's trying to get his gun away from the other bad guy. If that guy wanted you dead, you're dead. Which is why, again, gun on your person ready to go because then all you got to do is draw it, get it in the fight, and you don't got to worry about everything he's had to worry about. He's a mess as well. You notice here he's going to try to then continue to futz with the gun and figure out, oh, hey, what the heck am I doing with it? Friends, if you're going to have a gun around for, for protection of property, you know, of your property, I mean, the people in the property is what I mean. We don't use firearms for property protection, but to protect the people on the property, you need to know how to use it. Even if you're not a firearms enthusiast, if it's going to be in your desk especially, uh, or it's going to be accessible to you, you need to at least know the rudiments of how to use it so that if, God forbid, it comes out that day, you need to. I, I just want to say at the end here, I think this, this daughter of the owner is an absolute stud. I think... She did everything that she could. God bless her for being willing and able to use a knife. Recognize, this is the first time I've seen it done on camera. The very first defensive knife use I have ever seen. But it reinforces to me why I don't recommend defensive knives for almost anyone. So all those dudes carrying karambits or, you know, they're carrying a, a, a you know, fixed blade center line or whatever. Got to be honest with you, man. Unless you're an absolute master and committed to really training with that sucker hundreds of hours to really know how to use it in an incredibly effective way, I think this shows me why I'd rather carry a gun to cover my asp.